Nicocaro, Avocado and Hungry Fat Chick have both been slowly eating themselves to death for views. No uh, long video going up today um, in the hospital. What started as a mukbang trend on YouTube has spiralled into a full-blown eating addiction and an excuse to gain massive amounts of weight. Both of these YouTubers have experienced massive issues as a direct result of their extraordinary weight gain, both physical and mental, but they show no signs of slowing down. To get an understanding of why they are doing this, we need to look deeper. The videos each of these YouTubers produce involve eating massive amounts of food on camera, otherwise known as a mukbang. mukbang which combines the Korean words for eating and broadcast originated in South Korea around 2010. Initially, it started as a way for people to share home-cooked meals virtually and combat loneliness, especially for those who lived alone or struggled with social anxiety. Over time, mukbang has evolved into a global phenomenon, with creators from different countries and cultures joining the trend. People create ASMR videos for the people who enjoy sounds of other people eating and create group mukbang videos to have a sense of friendship between between the creators and the viewers. However, people took it a step too far. As more people got desperate for content, they started having massive fast food feasts indulging in way more food than any one person could possibly need. This incessant eating and greed on camera started to gain more and more views, which in turn led to more and more eating, and the cycle of insane fast food mukbang started to begin. Creators picked up on this and saw the potential in the trend. Enter Nicholas Perry on Nicocardo Avocado. Nicocardo created his YouTube channel in 2014, with his first videos showing off his vegan diet in simple, lean, home cooked meals. His personality was reserved and polite and he seemed to have a genuine care for his health and what he was eating. He's actually a really wholesome person to me here. This was way better than now. However, his channel would be a shadow of what it currently is during this time. In 2016, he uploaded a video claiming he would no longer be a vegan YouTuber as he was tired of the culture. This would seem to be the catalyst to Nick's astonishing weight gain. I'm just gonna say fuck him, you know? His videos started to get more and more unhinged as Nick Accardo got more hungry and desperate for views. He went from simple mukbang meals to being more and more sensational. Having big meals wasn't enough though, and Nick knew that he needed a unique element in his videos. He started to involve more of his personal life in his videos alongside a massive personality shift. He started getting louder and more obnoxious in his videos as he noticed that this type of personality drove up the views. He also has a boyfriend friend who he creates videos with named Orlin and they have what seems to be a toxic on-off relationship and Nick Accardo would often make videos of his multiple breakdowns which included YouTube thumbnails of him crying into his food. He played on this relationship with Orlin creating multiple videos about them getting married, breaking up, allegations towards his boyfriend and more all while stuffing his face. Alongside this personality change came the inevitable physical changes. On the 24th of March 2017 he uploaded a video titled I'm getting fat and I don't know why in it He was jiggling his fat rolls and crying to the camera What is in here? What is in here? In this clip he looks like he genuinely wants to change. I need to get healthier I'm ready to get healthier. These mukbangs are gonna be the death of me These mukbangs are gonna kill me Fast forward to present day and those changes did not happen. Nick Accardo is fatter than ever and even surprised himself with his weight gain. He now needs a mobility scooter just to get around and do basic activities such as getting his shopping. On June 12th, 2022, he weighed himself for a YouTube video which revealed he weighed over 380 pounds or 172 kilograms despite being five foot six. It also says I'm 200 pounds in the same article. No, yeah, that's wrong, you're 400. Exactly. Well to give that some perspective, that is how much Tyson Fury weighed at his heaviest, despite Tyson being a full foot taller than Nick Accardo. Despite this drastic weight gain, Nick Accardo doesn't care. In fact, the worst is yet to come. As his weight has went up, so have his views, and it seems like people almost enjoy watching him suffer, and he knows this. Some of his ridiculous food binges have millions of views on YouTube, 
YouTube, which consists of him screaming about how bad his life is now while eating thousands of calories worth of Cheeto ramen noodles. He constantly plays into this role he has created for himself, going on massive food binges all for the views and ad revenue he will be gaining from this. His weight gain has got so bad that he currently needs a breathing tube, which he also plays up to. I salute you, Nick. You've done more to encourage people to lose weight than anyone else on this platform. I'm just going to quickly pause the video here because as of the 1st of May, while I was editing this video, Nick seems to have lost weight. He did a recent video in which he revealed he was losing weight and he's lost 90 pounds. Hi, I know I'm skinny, you don't have to tell me. I lost 89 pounds and I lost, I'm looking at my arms, oh my god. Now, this was only one video, but he does seem dedicated to losing weight. Although, he did make this announcement while making a mukbang, so we'll see how long he keeps it up for. Despite the weight Nick has gained, this next YouTuber makes him look almost average. Hungry Fat Chick or Candy Godiva is another mukbang YouTuber who sometimes features Nick Accardo on her channel. Although she's a popular YouTuber, she has a fraction of Nick Accardo's subscribers. Her YouTube about section explicitly says that her channel is not a weight loss channel, it is an eating channel. As with Nick, she has been doing her mukbang for years and actually uploaded her first YouTube video 12 years ago in which she, the Hungry Fat Chick, went to Sonic Burgers. Hungry Fat Chick's feasts sometimes go on for more than an hour while she eats her meal and talks into the camera about her life. However, Hungry Fat Chick is not as animated as Nick Accardo, but she has been just as open about her struggles. She has recently been uploading videos talking about the state of her mental health and that it's not been great lately, showing the human side of these sensational mukbang videos. I don't like feeling emotions. I don't like who I am right now. I'm surviving, if you could call it that. While she says she has had trauma in the past, her comment section has been more than supportive. Candy, please fight for your life before it's too late. You are more than anyone who's ever hurt you and you can do this. Hungry Fat Chick is a lot more of a genuine YouTuber than Nick Accardo and I genuinely hope that she makes the right changes in her life before it's too late. Both Nick Accardo and Hungry Fat Chick have gained massive amounts of weight as a direct result of filming these mukbangs. From the roots of mukbang to what it is now, it's almost unrecognisable and part of a wider issue. The risks people are taking and the lengths they are going for views are staggering and it's almost as though they have zero regard for their life. Nick Accardo is barely 30 years old, yet lives in the same life as someone almost three times his age. He's broke character a few times in his videos and we all know his personality is an act. However, he cannot fake that weight gain. His weight gain has become part of his character as without his weight gain and huge mukbang videos, there are no views. People enjoy watching him in pain and suffering because it makes them feel better about their lives and it's the reason he has over 1 billion video views. His viewers know he is dangerously unhealthy but they keep watching. The negative effects of being this morbidly obese can't be understated and he is drastically shortening his lifespan by eating this way, all in the name of views and money. The same can be said about Hungry Fat Chick. She has been this way her whole YouTube career. It's been 12 years of these videos and she is just now posting vlogs about how she doesn't want to do another mukbang, citing the mental issues she has with her massive weight gain. Um, but yeah, I just don't feel like eating on camera right now. Despite this, she claims she isn't worried about the immediate health risks because of her weight. Commenters have been alerted by her vlogs, but she feels she has no choice, as mukbang videos were her primary source of income. If she doesn't make these videos, what would she have to do then? It's a vicious cycle of massive eating, getting massive views, getting money, leading to more eating. And this is the cycle which causes YouTubers like Nick Accardo and Hungry Fat Chick to eat themselves into an early grave. If you like this video and you want to see more, Click the video that's on your screen now and follow me on Twitter to get updates on upcoming videos.